Christina Yuna Lee was a 35-year-old Korean-American woman who lived in the Chinatown neighborhood of Manhattan, New York. She was a Rutgers University graduate and worked at the Eli Klein Art Gallery right out of college, where she would eventually become associate director. She spent four years there and was well-liked by her colleagues. The owner, Eli Klein, would say of Lee, quote, There was nobody as glorious and amazing in all aspects of life as Christina. Just a nice, sweet, cool, great human being. Everyone loved her. End quote. Lee eventually started work at Splice, where she was an advertising creative producer who worked hard to create beautiful and inclusive artwork. On the morning of February 13th, 2022, Christina Lee was dropped off by an Uber outside her building on 111 Christie Street in Chinatown. She came home from a nearby club after a night out with friends. Lee entered her building and walked up the stairs to the sixth floor. She began her routine walk down the hallway to her apartment. She didn't realize she was being followed. Surveillance video provided by the landlord Brian Chin would capture the man entering the building right after Lee and then show him following her down the hallway to her apartment. According to Chin, quote, We've got cameras on every floor and in the front. She got out of a cab and then he followed her. He grabbed the front door just before it closed. He followed her all the way up, hanging back, staying on the floor behind her all the way up to the sixth floor. Then he waited until the door was just about closed and went in. End quote. Two neighbors could hear screaming coming from Lee's apartment and immediately called the police. A 21-year-old neighbor said, quote, She was calling for help, screaming for help. It was awful. Please help me. Call 911. That's exactly what she said over and over again. End quote. Another neighbor, Andrew Oakes, called the screams horrifying. Quote, it sounded like something you would hear out of a movie or a domestic violence incident. I didn't think anything of it. I thought, oh, that's strange, until the police came. End quote. At 4.23 a.m., police entered the building and went to the sixth floor apartment. According to NYPD spokesperson Sergeant Edward Riley, quote, upon arrival, police encountered a barricaded individual and were unable to gain immediate access inside the apartment, end quote. Officers could hear Christina screaming in pain as they tried to force the door using a sledgehammer. Then everything went silent. Moments later, another female voice screamed out, quote, we don't need the cops here, go away, end quote. Eventually, officers were able to enter Lee's residence with the help of the emergency service unit. They broke down the door and would discover Lee in her bathtub with trauma to her body. She had 40 stab wounds and was naked from the waist up. Christina Lee was pronounced dead at the scene at 5.55 a.m. Police searched the apartment for the other female and eventually found 25-year-old Asamad Nash hiding under the bed. He was covered in blood. Nash was spotted trying to run on the fire escape from an officer on the roof of the building before coming back inside and barricading himself in. He then hid under the bed and disguised his voice, telling the officers they weren't needed. Investigators found a bloodied yellow-handled knife from a kitchen set belonging to Lee behind a dresser. It appeared that Nash stabbed Christina in the bathroom, but she fought back, as both of them had stab wounds. Nash was placed into an ambulance where he acted worried for Lee, asking a cop if she was okay. He stated that he was trying to protect her and that there was another guy who stabbed them both and escaped. At Bellevue Hospital later that day, Nash again said he was innocent and threatened a police officer for cracking his knuckles. Asamad Nash was charged with burglary and murder for the death of Christina Yuna Lee. According to authorities, Nash is a homeless career criminal with multiple open cases against him and a record of escaping from police custody. He was on a supervised release when he was discovered in Lee's apartment. Nash pleaded not guilty, claiming, quote, I was trying to help this female getting hurt by other people. I was trying to help this lady. If it's not on video, how can they say it's me? End quote. He again claimed that the attacker stabbed him in the leg before escaping. If convicted, Nash faces a minimum of 25 years and a maximum of life without parole. His next court date is July 18, 2022. This murder raised worries in the Asian communities in New York City following several unprovoked attacks against Asians during the pandemic. 
The police and prosecutors are still investigating possible hate crime motives in this case, but at the moment it appears as though it was sexually motivated. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.